these are beech nuts. Uh, they're absolutely, I call them a trail food. Mm -hmm. They're really best September's when they're ripe and mm -hmm. ready. We're late in the year now. Hi, I'm Patrick Quackenbush, Natural Supervisor, Ohio Department of Natural Resources, Division of Parks and Watercraft, and we're here at the beautiful Hocking Hills State Park. Hi, and welcome. We're here at Old Man's Cave area at Hocking Hills State Park. Probably the most visited spot in Hocking Hills. We have somewhere between three to five million visitors a year that come through this park. And the majority of them, this is where they want to come first. Geologically speaking, this is a great example of the Blackhand Sandstone in the region that forms these spectacular gorges and these beautiful recessed or hollowed out caves in the area. Old Man's Cave is about 250 feet wide, about 90 feet from top to bottom. Probably most famous for the old hermit Spent almost 70 years of his life living in the cave itself. Uh, white hair, nice white beard, the whole nine yards. And folks began to refer to this as the old man's place. That's Richard's place, the old man's place. And through time, it stuck. And through the years, it became known as Old Man's Cave. Uh, and then we can find out bird population and trends and migratory routes, etc. I've been a naturalist for over 30 years, but I've been with the state of Ohio for about 26 years. It's a lot of folks' dream job. When I first came to the Hocking Hills, I remember the assistant manager at the time telling me, you know, hey, welcome to a naturalist playground. And I thought, you couldn't, you couldn't have put that any better if you tried. So it's, it's, it's a fascinating job. It's one of the few things that you get to learn and discover something new almost every day. I like to bring folks into an area uh, like this at Conkles Hollow where we're at here today and show them something they've never seen before. And you can, you can see behind their eyes, you can see the light bulb turn on and you can see the half smile and the, wow, I never knew that. And I could, I could point to a thousand of those through my career. Um, and, but that I think I get the most thrill out of is, is showing folks something that they've, they've never seen before, they've never experienced before. This is a flood plain out here, obviously. It fills with water from time to time. You know, I don't think it's a secret that in, in public service, you're probably not going to become a millionaire when you retire someday. So knowing that you have that stable base, uh, that feeling of security with the retirement in today's day and age, that's a hard feeling to get. And knowing that you have that is, is a good feeling. It, it is a nice feeling. And talking with folks that are close to retirement, that have already retired, and, and I get the same sense from them as well. So, so it, is a, it is a good, a secure feeling. You know, I tell new naturalists, I work a lot now with students and young naturalists and folks that want to get into this field. And, and I'll always ask them, you know, what made you want to come here? And they're, oh, I love the outdoors and I love this. And, I, and my next question to them is, well, how about people? You know, how do you feel about people? Because that's the majority of what we do is working with the people that come here. And in this case, you know, three to five million a year. So you ho hopefully you like people if you want to do this job. <laughs> 